Mummy. Daddy, it's me, Dad. I'm still stuck on Earth. Sometimes I think you don't want me back. Who is that, please? Me, who are you? Um, this is the giant rabbit of gum. I think you have the wrong number. Daddy, is that you? Perhaps I won't just wait to be rescued. I have a feeling this could take some time. Where are the tools? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, sure I'll bleed to Nick. Most plots would be pleased to carry the girlfriend's sports gate to school for them. It's just that I wish I hadn't taken up squash, Pinky. Why? Does me wearing a short skirt in public make you jealous? No. Your squash racket has worked itself up somewhere very painful and personal. Listen, Master Knuckle, I'm only doing this for your benefit so you can try and get off with that Starina die. She's bound to be sporty. She shaves her armpits. My mum shaves her feet. Listen, if you tell Di Harry feet run in the family, she'll never get engaged to you, and her family won't pay me a fortune to buy you off. So, mum's the word. Harry, mum. <sighs> it's been marvellous, isn't it? They can get a letter from one end of the country to the other in just over a fortnight, but they can't make a bicycle chain that stays on. Morning, Your Imperial Highness. Are you fixing your spaceship? No. I'm waiting for the next interstellar shuttle to the planet Sad. Oh, you'll be lucky. They can't even get a taxi along this corridor since they made it one way. <laughs> well, I don't know. One end of a toolbox from the other, I'm delighted to say. However, I do know exactly what's wrong with my starter. Really? Yes. It has several hundred tons of extremely ugly comprehensive school stuck to the front of it. Hmm. Tricky. I wonder what this one does. <laughs> it does that. <laughs> hmm. Would you like to buy a bicycle, Pudnik? Listen, I've got enough problems with the squash racket. Well, the sooner I get off this planet, the better. Here, here. Nobody asked you to come here. You think you're so special coming from outer space, don't you? Well, you're not. You're not the first alien that's come to Earth. There have been others before you. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Dirt is the last place in the entire universe any extraterrestrial would want to visit. Exactly. And that's precisely why they came here in 1953. And it's Earth, not dirt. All the same to worms. These aliens, they weren't twitchers by any chance, were they? Jimmy! Jimmy! You won't get any more out of him, I'm afraid. We'll see about that. Go and get Charles. Je t'aime. Je t'aime. Oh, Die, would you now? But... Now! I'll get it out of you. Oh, you miserable prole. You wanted me? Ah, uh, yes. I want you to do a little something for me as my future intended. Ah. Uh. Yes. I want you to punch Jimmy in the knees until he opens his mouth. Get on with it. Nothing was ever solved by violence. Go on, bash him! <laughs> Smack! Wah! Shell! Kill him! What are you doing? Bullying bigger boys? This is a side of nature I have yet to discover. Bug off! It's nothing to do with your guan chan smack Margaret, him! Margaret, I'm sorry. Fisticuffs and the rougher side of life have never been my forte. It's just... I told him to do it. If it's any of your business. Why? Because this four-eyed freak knows how I can get off this dreadful planet and back to style. But he won't tell me. Jimmy? Unless you tell her immediately, I shall slap the backs of your knees. Where shall I start? Tell me everything you know about the Twitchers. It was in 1953, the year of the coronation. We'd all been given the day off school and were standing outside the Paris Hill school gates waving our little Union Jacks and such. And that's how I came to meet the Twitchers. I saw that Dollops Junkin, the class fatty, had started an impromptu game of conkers with a group of strangers. How did you know they were strangers? Hmm, difficult to tell. Could be instinct. 
but it's far more likely to have been the fact that they were bright pink and had 14 arms. That sort of thing is usually a bit of a giveaway with strangers. Anyway, in the event, they had less than a basic grasp of the rules of conkers, and it was while I was trying to retrieve a particularly hardy conker, a 27, out of one of their ears, they told me they were twitchers. They were doing a tour of the universe, and that Earth was their last port of call. You mean they're still here? No. Sadly, they crumbled into a red, white and blue dust during the Coronation Street party. It was quite spectacular, although sad at the same time. Still, it made the conquer easier to remove. Just a minute. If they didn't fly off, then their spacecraft must still be on this forsaken planet. Better still, it's in this forsaken school. Take me to it now! Here we go, the shuffling, the shuffling, naughty slack. With a steel folder eye. Nick, what are you doing? I'm doing my GCSE, helping the caretaker. Practical. If I pass this, then I've only got to pass oral and graffiti. And I'll be well on the way to being unemployable. Oh, what is this? Nutty slack. Oh, very apt. Well, where's the Twitcher spacecraft? You're looking at it. Well, I was never actually under the impression that I needed glasses, except for posing. Perhaps I should reassess the situation. I can't see it either. Nor me. No. Is it Wednesday? Only I'm supposed to be getting some sorry material. Well, perhaps you'd like to point it out to us. This is it. Sis, are you trying to make me believe that the Twitchers travelled the galaxy in a boiler room? Even Doctor Who can't do that. Who? That's right. He's only got a TARDIS. Who has? Yeah. This is the Twitchers' spaceship. Impossible. Now prove it. Excuse me. Me? Yes. You don't think I'm returning to Star without you, do you? Who? Oh. I'll never forget you. Margaret. But it looks like this is goodbye. Excuse me a moment. My cup of happiness is too full to allow it to be dashed from my lips now. Oh, no. I'm on the road to true love, and I'm not about to make a U-turn. It's not goodbye. It's not even au revoir. Because I'm coming too. So that's the way the dog biscuit crumbles, is it? Well, I've put too much time and effort into trying to bust up Chaz and die and get her to fancy Nick. I'm not letting him get away without a scrap. <clears throat> I'm coming too. What? And so is Nick. What? Why are you going without me nutty slack? That can come true. Well, if you're going, I'm going. Well, I'm going if Chess is going. Well, I'm going if Binky's going. I don't know whether I'm coming or I'm going. You better come then. Oh, no. One must draw the line somewhere. Listen, Miss High and Mighty, not quite Empress of all the Universe. I think it's very unlikely that anyone here, including you, has ever flown a kite like this. And it's at times like that when you need someone on the team who's got a basic grasp of infinity physics, quantum mechanics, and his own Swiss army knife. Exactly. Thank you, Margaret. Besides, you might need someone to lead the community singing if it looks like we're going to crash. I am sorry, but I am not arriving back on star with you all dressed like that. What's wrong with the way we're dressed? <laughs> I'm not taking my clothes off. Not with the nutty slut looking. Well, just look at you. There's not six inches of lyrics between a lot of you. Oh, I suppose I'd better do something about it. Oh. I wish they'd take me measurements first. Right, let's get going. There is an instruction manual, but it's in Japanese, German, Spanish, Gaelic and Braille. But not English. Typical. I wonder what this button does. Oh. Oh. Oh, 
Control that can be set to suit any planetary condition. But if that's true, then why is an ape floating in midair? Because he thinks he's weightless. It's a figment of his imagination. Imagination? I haven't got any imagination. Oh! <laughs> Lucky the floor was there. It broke me full. You okay, Nick? How many fingers am I holding up? Nine. An amazing recovery. Does anyone actually know if we're headed in the right direction? Yeah, good point, Margaret. We need a map, really. We should have got the air to do a route for us. Why? We don't want to go to Bogner avoiding the M25, do we? We've got a map. Chas? Yes, Dave? Don't talk. Eat. No, I do rather tend to avoid snacks in between meals. Eat. I can make an exception. What's going on? We've just volunteered to be the map. Can I have a piece of map as well, please? No. Mastro teasers. This is serious chocolate. Look at the A numbers on this. These not a number, it's a letter. Even I know that. No, look. E6, E10, E45, E765. E I adio, E by gum, monosodium glute. Look! I will never touch cocoa again. <clears throat> right, pay attention. We are here. We set course for here, then round here, past here, and end up here. Oh, wait. What, up his nose? No, the pen slipped. <laughs> oh, my poor darling. I can't bear to see you a boily boy. I must do what I can to help your skin condition. Here. I always travel prepared. I'm never without a bar of carbolic. Germs can dark everywhere. And I doubt that infinite space is any exception. Oh, shush yourself. Oh. What's going on? Nothing that need concern you. Of course it concerns me. You're interfering with my prize. Yes, prize. Exactly. That's all he is to you. You don't love him. <laughs> of course not. What a ghastly thought. But the fact of the matter is, he won me, and that's all there is to it. There, chaps. His face. <laughs> yeah. Ugly, in it? The map has gone. Oh, is that all? 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 You don't understand. Without that map, we are lost. Lost in spaces. Large, empty spaces. Infinite spaces. What's happened? Well, I don't know about you, lot, but I'm stuck to the floor. What are you doing, Nick? I wanted to see what the gravity was like on the Dwarf Star Abyss alarm. Well, now you know. Very heavy. Found you. <laughs> Who altered the gravity? Nick. Nick. Well, don't. I was bored. Well, go and play outside. We've got to do something. We could go mad. The naughty slut's already doing that. Look. We'll land on the next planet and ask the way. Breathable. <laughs> oh, at least it was. It always is. I've seen dozens of space films and the atmosphere is always breathable. In fact, every single planet looks exactly like this one, even down to that rock. How about any moment an alien will come round here? Typical. For me? Oh, super. Now, listen, I'd love to stop and chat and visit a few of your more upmarket chain stores. But I'm in rather a hurry to get that to style. And we're lost. Now, I've come prepared. Oh, that looks like a handy gadget. What's it do? It adjusts the alien speech pattern. So even the most primitive private can understand what she's talking about. Well, well. Now, uh, we need directions to style quickly. I uh, want to get back as soon as possible. It's... 
Half, yes. Half day closing. Style. Now let me see. Which way be you vehicle appointing? Straight up. Then that'll be the way you asked to go, miss. Keep going straight up to comes to Planet of Scoff. They do a very nice fray up on Scoff, they do. Just past there, see slit route for the interstellar freeway. You can't miss it. Used to be the old B4378. Well, you carries along there for a couple of thousand light years. There ain't been no services, so if you want to water the horses, you better nip behind that rock before it takes off. So? You turns off at the 4,389th exit. You can't miss it, long as you're good at accounting, and take a sharp left back on yourself into Sagittarian Way. Now, there be a car flow in art ration, so you'll be down to one lane. So, if you like, you could take alternative route for heavy vehicles. Now, that's marked with little shooting stars. Now, that takes you round to the back of the Great Wildebeest. And in between the twin stars of. You can't miss it. Be well sound posted. And you find yourself on. No. Half a mole. Where you say we're ready. Oh. Style! Oh! <laughs> Style. Now let me see. I can't stand it. I can't take any more. Unless you shut up, I'm going to make your voice go all squeaky. Where you get that treasure from, young lummock? Treasure? I think this planet might use coal as money instead of good old pound shillings and pence. I don't care what she wants to use it for as long as it shuts her up here. Why, thank you, master. Oh, brilliant. Now we'll never find our way back to style. We're doing our best. Yes, and that's what's so depressing. That alien's still behind that rock, you know. Lucky for her. Now, the question is, what do we do now? I've been examining the ground. You really do live life to the full, don't you? And I've made a discovery. We appear to be standing in a crater. Riveting. And this crater is in the shape of a giant footprint. You mean? Yes. This planet. Apart from being inhabited by manic, nutty, slack-loving chunder aliens, is also inhabited by giants. Look! <laughs> Why is it always the girls who scream and point? Quick, behind the wheelbarrow! As described in Biggles, goes behind the wheelbarrow! <laughs> It shouldn't always be the girls at scream and point. Perhaps, in the interest of equality, we should take it in turns. I could draw up some sort of rotor, if you like, based on sex, age, that sort of thing. I have heard that Jimmy should point and scream at the next monster menace. Then we can go boy, girl, boy, girl, till we've all had a go. All in favour of... Move on, move on. That is, of course, assuming we don't get eaten by a giant pigeon first. It's all right. It's a homing pigeon. It's asking the alien for directions that will never find us now. Oh. <laughs> I don't think he should be allowed to practice. I think that should count as his girl. <coughs> That's not fair. He's had two girls. No, no, look. <coughs> That's three. <coughs> I think the system's falling apart. <coughs> Hang on, it was my go. <coughs> oh, this is ridiculous. It's turning into a free for all. <coughs> oh, pathetic. Now. Ah, watch out! It's a typically not too rude postcard from Scarborough, and his voice are double and crushes! I don't get it. You're so well. <laughs> Back to the ship, quick! Yes! Me barrel! The situation is mega desperate. We are completely lost and we have almost no fuel left. I've got some good news and some bad news. I found some fuel. Unfortunately, it's unleaded. I seem to remember the Twitches telling me that they always carry a few cans just in case they bump into the bearded indigents of the conservation constellation. And the good news? We're approaching a planet. We'll have to land. Land? We can't do that. We've no idea what's down there. It'll be like getting off a bus to stop early. You'll never know where you might end up. Oh, strange as it may seem, that's exactly how I first got to speak to Shirley Ann Turtle about oh. my childhood sweetheart. 
I still say that we can't land. We have no choice. We're lost since someone destroyed the map. But I'm proud of what I did. Chez's face is now a mirror to his soul. Unblemished, bland. Prepare to land. And seeing as we don't have enough fuel to take off again, you'd better just hope it's a hospitable planet. I'm going to open the airlock. We must brave the unknown. Well, that's the problem. It is unknown. Unknown, that is, except to whoever or whatever is out there. We could find ourselves engulfed in killer yeti gas or surrounded by fearsome smegulites. What? The Twitches told me about them. Apparently, they eat everything and everyone in sight without so much as a buy your leave or a hand wash. And as far as we know, they could be lurking napkins at the ready, the other side of that door. Well, if we were doomed to die in a sesame bun inside order salad, then so be it. And if it don't come back, it'll mean that whoever's out there is having a barbecue. Come on, Ned. Let's get after it. And then bring it all this way to have it run off. Nick! What if they don't come back? We'll throw an enormous party. <laughs> I'm going after them. Be careful, Jimmy. No problem. Famous last words. Ah, there really isn't. Look. You've still got me, haven't you? Oh! <laughs> oh, it's good that everything's back to normal, isn't it? Well, it isn't. Uh, not quite. What do you mean? Well, uh... I see. She has won you after all. Margaret! But, although we've been to the stars, perhaps our love was not written in them. Oh, shut up. You're making me nutty slack throw up. <laughs> 